Lacuna coil. It means empty spiral, or maybe more accurately, missing spiral. It's also a really cool band that has been around for almost 20 years. It probably has the best male-female vocal duo in metal. Their first release bearing their current name came out in 1998. They're often called gothic or symphonic because they include orchestral sound elements in most of their songs. There has been a general trend from an emphasis on melody and atmospheric subtlety in their earlier career to more of an emphasis on rhythm and simpler, more catchy hooks in their later albums. However, just about everything they've put out has been on some level a mixed bag of rock, metal, and different styles of moves. I thought about doing just one straight up list of all this band's best songs, or a list of the best songs from each album, but since Lakuna Coil's music has been so diverse throughout their discography, and within each album as well, I thought it might be more useful to break it up by category. After all, Nowadays, people can pay to download individual songs if they don't necessarily want everything that happens to be on one particular album. Here's my top 11 Lacuna Coil metal songs, which primarily stay in the metal spectrum in terms of heaviness. During certain parts, though, they can go into the hard rock spectrum, as many metal songs do, but no lower than that. Then you can see my top 10 contrast metal songs that have their metal riffs contrasted with light rock or even ballad-like riffs. Finally, we have my top nine progressive metal songs by Lacuna Coil. These don't strictly follow a verse pre-chorus chorus or verse chorus post-chorus structure. They just progress along from riff to riff in an artful and non-formulaic way, often with subtle and gradual changes. I also highlighted everything with prominent symphonic elements in red and gray for the ones with industrial or electronic type sounds. The songs with neither of those are in white. My number one straight up metal song by the Kuna Coil is Tightrope. The sprawling buzz of the verse riff is about a five as far as heaviness, and harder power chords smash through it intermittently, while backed by a haunting synth melody that sounds almost like voices. Then the song ascends to an eight with the gripping power chord progression and absolutely enthralling melody of the chorus. And then a serious driving post-chorus riff intensifies the song even more with the heavy music meter peaking at a nine before dropping back down for the next verse. My top contrast metal song from Lacuna Coil is Swamped. It features resounding cries and mellifluous whispers that ring out from the quietly mysterious atmosphere of the verse. Then an evocative vocal hook sets up the compelling chords and epic lead of the chorus. The post-chorus riff escalates from a 7 to a 9 as the backing orchestral waves of sound carry you to the next verse. And the number one progressive metal song by Lacuna Coil is Daylight Dancer which is a blustery storm of power chords blazing around 7 and 8 with a chiming symphonic ambiance accompanying it. The song has soft, intriguing lows and vibrant fluctuations that build up to fierce, engaging high points. Now let's move on to Lacuna Coil's 8 best hard rock songs that stay fast-paced and hard-hitting throughout as well as their top 13 contrast rock songs that mix hard rock riffs with lighter music, and also Lacuna Coil's greatest 13 progressive rock pieces that defy convention with complex and irregular song structures. My number one pure hard rock Lacuna Coil song is Against You. The turbulent five of the lead guitar in the verse riff tap dances to a halt to set up the brief, chunky metal transition out of which a shouting chorus revels prodigiously at a 7. At 1 minute and 49 seconds, the bridge upsurges to an uproarious 40 second assault of heavy power chords in support of a tense, uncanny guitar solo at the peak of the song. The best Lacuna Coil song that combines light and hard rock is Hostage to the Light. The light acoustic notes of the verse drip down like rain on the tenuous, shifting violin melody in the background. 
A roaring transition then brings torrents of harder chords down as the soaring vocal hook ascends vehemently before gliding back down to the next verse. My top progressive rock song by this band is Cybersleep. The first half of the song is like a dream of echoey acoustic guitar, magical orchestral brass, and ghostly note bending. The second chorus wakes you from this dream with an enthralling run of power chords and captivating vocal melody. At 2 minutes and 55 seconds, there's an astounding swell of power chords and drumming that culminate in the song's spectacular zenith, just before the last chorus and the finale. Finally, my top four ballads, and also top seven hard ballads that have the mood and atmosphere of a pure ballad, but they combine that with hard power chords or heavy palm muting. My number ones in both these categories are two versions of the same song. Falling has an enchanting presence with a floating acoustic guitar melody, accented by orchestral escalations and absolutely stunning vocal high points. The hard version, Falling Again, includes a drum beat that wasn't in the first one and some power chords to strengthen the high points. But on the studio version, the vocals of Falling Again for some reason just don't have the same energy and emotional emphasis that the ones on Falling did. However, I found a live performance on YouTube with both the amazing vocals of Falling and the greater musical impact of Falling Again. I'll put an on-screen link to that right over the song title, because that's the version I have on my music player. Okay, that's all my recommendations from Lacuna Coil. Whether you're just interested in the really heavy shit, or if you like the hard rock as well. And I'll throw in an all-around top 20 regardless of category too. Here it is. Hope you enjoy, and have a nice day.